Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again on an eight streak, baby. Uh, this time we're running in as the lost... Okay, so this is this is our first trying times in our streak. This is our first bit of potential issues. But the good thing is, the lost is pretty good. Now, obviously this is a risk. Um, wow. Very useful. Um, but... Yeah, definitely a risk coming in as this guy, uh, but I want to play them in order. I said I would, so I'm going to. Uh, and this guy, honestly, the Lost isn't that hard, like with Holy Mantle. You've just got to play cautiously, and the last few times I've played as the Lost, I've just not played cautiously enough. Um, and honestly, as well, we've got literally all to play for in terms of completion marks, so we can kind of go wherever we want. Um, meaning that we've got a little bit more freedom in that regard. Honestly, this is going to be a, an absolutely dog shit room. Because <laughs> of all of the, uh, all of the goddamn bouncy spiky boys. Oh, dude. There's a, there's a guy producing these flies at a rapid rate. Yeah, this is, this is a little bit silly. Okay, luckily he's dead. I think they do die on their own, as you can see, because that guy was very low health. Yeah, every time they do that, they lose a bit of health. So it's not, they're not infinite, but still. A little bit annoying. Ooh, 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 don't disappear. Yes, I got it. Yeah. That was close. At least it does a visual, no uh, an audible noise. Hey, Hurst Hat plus bombs. I mean, that's very thematic. Hurst Hat is gonna afford us a little bit more, um, a little bit more of abilities to make mistakes, which is very, very nice. Basically, things I'm hoping for is um, a good tier modifier and decent stat ups early on. I'm really hoping for like growth hormones from our boss. Growth hormones would be ideal. Uh, that's a, a really, really decent early stat up for us. Okay, let's be careful with these dudes. Got ya. And these, these dudes are even more problematic. That little burn they throw every single time. I forget about it. I've got to be very wary. We will check out the uh, item uh, shop, Roy, sorry. I, I was going to say item room, it's just a shop, not an item shop. Anyways, uh, as for the question of the day today, um, nah. What's, um, let's think, let's think, let's think. What's something that you think should be turned into a TV show that hasn't been adapted yet? What's, what's something that you think would work really, really well? Because a lot of things have been adapted at the minute. I mean, there was, like, the cyberpunk, um, like, anime show that did really well. Uh, was it Edge Runners it was called, something like that? And there's been a few others that have been doing well recently. I mean, even the Super Mario movie apparently wasn't bad. Like, there's been some good translations of video games into TV or film. What's one that you think could do really, really well or something that's like a missed opportunity at the moment and you think could be better explored? Okay, so unfortunately we do have um, this boy here. I will obviously be re-rolling um, the cube of meat. We do have a 25% chance or 30. I'm not actually sure what the chances are. I think it's 30, but I do have a chance at losing, um, at losing it. But cube of meat, it would never. It would never just disappear on me. That would be so rude. Yeah. This guy's not been too bad. Okay, this is a little bit crazy with all the pooters you're making at this stage, my guy. A little bit too many pooters. I like it when he gets a, a certain distance away and he literally can't, the pooters can't shoot you. Luckily we've got this rock here to keep us safe. Good, good. Hey, okay. That I'm pretty happy about. A pretty hefty damage up off the bat. Really, really nice. Pretty much growth hormones in a way. Right. That's also pretty good, but the thing is, um, we don't obviously get anything out of the um out of the thingy, uh moral hearts. Okay, I was just about to say, let's see what we get from this and see if it's worth it. Okay, fear shot there was not ideal. Okay, good. He's nice and dead. B-Boy is easy as long as he's not the champion version of him. I'm trying to use the fear right now to uh, get the uh, little Abaddon doing stuff. Also, we unlocked a bunch of really good stuff from playing as Azazel in a previous run, I think. So, we've got some new good stuff in Devil Deals that we can check out. Okay, that was good. Uh, fire rate, not a huge increase, but certainly a decent one. 
And yeah, these extra devil items, at least for now, are pretty lovely. Uh, I think we got a pretty good timing, really, on uh, having those available for that uh, boss trap room. That was quite nice, actually. It's a shame we're going to have to see them go so soon. Honestly, fearing is really, really nice right now. I'm sad to lose the fear. The ladder, obviously terrible. Um... It's probably worth it. It's probably worth it. And then Polydaxel. That's... I don't know what to think about that. That's probably one that I'm going to re-roll. I don't think... Like, it's nice, but I don't think it's that good. Oh, that was close. Hey, Hurst Hat actually saved me a hit there. Not that I needed it to, but I kind of forget that Hurst Hat can do that. Oh, bugger. Okay, let's be really careful here. It's the jumpy boy we got to be careful of. The, everything else is pretty much fine. It's these little shitheads that can just jump across the entire goddamn room. I hate these enemies. They're just way too sporadic. Okay, cool. But yeah, basically that mum's dresser thing that we just took, the um, the item we just got, basically... Oh, I didn't need to go to this room, actually. Uh, basically what that does is it lets us bomb our donation machine multiple times again. It, like, re-enables us to be able to do that. Take out the spider first. Bomb that bad boy. That's not a secret room. Oh, wow. Really thought it was. Everything jar. Everything jar's kind of interesting, but I don't think it's worth trading our current active for. You get out of here, you shits. You ruin lives. You ruin her. Also, yet again, we've got no mapping, which I despise. Wow. Very worthwhile. Got that bugger. We don't have keys, so shop isn't something we're going for at the moment. We're probably gonna end up losing this item by re-rolling it so much, but I've got a I've got a gamble. I'm trying to trying to make something work here. Yeah. I knew I knew that was gonna happen. It was so obvious. Like the game just it just, I just had it coming. I should have just taken polydactyl, but no, no, I just wasn't really intrigued in polydactyl that much. It didn't grasp me. Like, holding two cards and pills, it's it's somewhat useful, but I don't really find myself, like, needing it that much, so... I tried for the reroll. Unfortunately, it did reroll into another active, and the everything jar is pretty good. Like, it's not a bad thing at all. Aw, oh, I wasted a bomb there. Bugger. Waste of a bomb. My bad. We shouldn't- I was going to use a bomb on this guy, but we shouldn't really need it. It just deals with the flies a bit quicker, but realistically, we've got good damage here. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't take too long. Jesus Juice is kind of lovely here. Um, and a Thame. Of course, we'll take a Thame. Call to the Void. We've only got one luck right now, so it's not amazing as it is right now. But still, I'd say it's pretty decent. Also, by the way, if you can hear my fan in the background, I apologize. It's just quite warm in the UK right now. It is what it is. Hope for an item in here. We haven't had an item yet, so... Ah, bugger. All we got was a chest we can't possibly do anything with. What did we get there? Ah, Void Blood Machine does nothing for us. Heck. Honestly, though, I'm pretty happy we've got a Thame. A Thame is, of course, really, really good. Especially considering we have Perfection coming our way um, very shortly. That is, like, a guarantee as the Lost. I think it's this boss or next... I think it's next boss. I don't think it's this one. Um, but puts us in a really goddamn good spot. Um, because a Thame plus 10 luck, really good. Lovely. We're going to be getting that going on quite a lot. Pretty soon. Good, good. Still no key, sadly. The keys have, have really kind of been screwing us here. Um, missing out on an item room would be pretty devastating. Okay. 
Sadly, you are themed with no one around. A themed with no one to hear you scream. Oh, beautiful. That went really well. Secret room kind of looks like it could be here, but I ought to check first. Well, that was a kind room. Hey, there's our key. Lovely. This, this looks like second secret room. Nah, we've got plenty of bombs. I'm going to try it. Ah, Unfair. Unfair. My secret room powers are not tuned correctly right now. My reflection, I will take it. Unfortunately, it is a look down, um, which isn't ideal, but I actually really like my reflection tonight, and it has some really interesting synergies, and it's a massive range increase. I don't think it's that bad at all. Regular secret room could be here. <coughs> Unfortunately, yet again, we've been screwed. But yeah, most people wouldn't take my reflection then. The look down is obviously the, the worst bit about it, but I actually think my reflection is really good, especially with spectral. I think with Spectral it's even better. But yeah, it's just a huge range in increase. I don't really see why people dislike it so much. It's like, it doesn't even make your regular shots any harder to hit. I, I, I know that it's better now than it was in Repentance, but I still really don't understand the hate for the item. I, I really don't think it's that bad at all. Okay, that's probably Secret Room. Uh, bed does give us a new holy mantle, but that's not super useful for us right now. Um, let's go for the shop. We've only got one key, so it's a little bit of a risk, but I'm hopeful. Unfortunately, my hope was misplaced. But yeah, we get one of these things now. Wasn't ideal, but we got a key back. It's fine. It's just a little bit of wasted money as all. Well. Lovely. I think it's pro proccing loads even without perfection right now. Yeah, just careful of this goober and his eyes. He's really not too bad, but he can be a little bit problematic with his jumps. Luckily, we have some rocks in here helping us out. It really, it, it's all dependent for me on where the eyes end up going. Sometimes the eyes can place themselves in really shitty spots. But there you go, we got him. Nice and easy. Oh, that is perfection already, okay. Uh, we'll we'll reroll this, because it's just useless for us. Um, unfortunately, we're just going to have to take that. Puberty. Bombs are key. Health up. Tears down. Okay, the tears down is really devastating, but everything else is pretty much fine. Uh, let's go ahead and open up some of these golden chests. bombs back. We'll go back and do my other room here. But yeah, um, now that we've got the, the perfection going, we should be pretty good. I can't remember how well a theme scales. I think it's like 17 luck you need for 100%, so we're not quite there. But it's still good. Oh, no way. We got smooth rock. That's awesome. Smooth Rock basically mean, makes we makes it so we do bu a bunch more damage to bosses. It's really, really nice. Go, 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 Thame. It's... I just can't believe how much they buffed a Thame. It went from, like, just mildly okay to absolute god-tier devil deal item. It's so good. What a buff, baby. What a buff. Anyways, let's keep on going with this run. I'm very glad I went to that room now because we're doing a lot more damage to bosses. Basically, any boss with over 150 HP, which is quite a lot of them. We're going to be doing a lot more damage too. Good, good. Nice. Just that I just love the fact that it's like able to chain react. That's like the craziest thing about it. The fact that it's even allowed to chain react is nuts. Nice. Quickly check this out. There is a crane game there. 
Although, we do have Curse of the Blind right now, so we don't know what our items are. That's going to be a little annoying, because it means we can't re-roll. But at least if it's an active, we can re-roll it into something. But otherwise, we're not going to know. Get out of here, frog boy. Careful of these little shits. Butt bombs. It's not amazing, but it's decent enough. Basically, if we get a hardish room, we can plant down a butt bomb and... Use it to, uh, use it to get out of a sticky situation. Fortunately, we are getting some real, real hot trash in our secret rooms right now. It's a little annoying. This is a horrible room. Okay, there you go, we're good. I was a little bit worried there. I was, I was thinking about using a butt bomb. Ooh, double nickel. Wow. Shop here I cometh. Okay, maybe Stephen Floor is good. Maybe I don't know. Stephen Floor's a little risky because I'm not—I'm still not very well acquainted with the boss or enemies, and I feel like I could probably end up taking quite a bit of uh, unnecessary damage. So I'd rather not. That might kill me, so I'm not going to bother with that either. I don't think it will, but it might. Dude, why didn't Athame proc on the enemies I needed to proc on? How dare you, Athame. Golden Penny in there, but still no key. Item this time around. Guppy's Paw, we at least get the Guppy item. I, I can't even use my active item because of all this goddamn fear poop. Ugh, you bastard. God damn it. <laughs> so heckin' rude. Where are my keys at? Ah, oh, yeah, that bombs bombs that key pill we got was not ideal. Range up, not super necessary, but hey her. Boss trap room is holding latch key, which is more luck, and that is keys, so I can be reasonably grateful of that. Oh, bugger. Okay, no, that killed him. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> the Athames there went crazy. It's awesome. Oh, bugger. We should be fine. There you go. We're fine. Nice, nice, nice. Go to our shop real quick. So we've got a lot of pennies. Buy whatever it is. A hey, cyst is really, really good. Um, first shot is 10 times damage. Basically an insta-kill at the start of every room if we hit the shot, which we're likely to. Right. Take a few out, big boy. We could go and play that uh, crane game, but because I don't know what I'm getting from it, I don't think it's worth it. It could be a bunch of actives in there. Good, good. Just some pills. We don't know either of them. Let's not bother. Nice. Avenger emblem. We don't know what the hell we're getting here, so... Okay, to, to be fair, I'm pretty happy with that because we can re-roll it and we're two-thirds guppy. Mark of Cain. I think that destroys any familiars we have and revives us, so that's actually pretty goddamn useful. Okay, I'm I'm very happy with how that went. We were two-thirds guppy. And we got a revive out of it. I think that's pretty goddamn good. And that's pretty lucky. If I do say so myself. Missed with my cyst shot there. Actually, no, I hit. I, it, it took a bit to get there, but I hit in the end. We've got some brimstony boys here, gotta be careful of them. Aha! Just wanna make sure I'm not knocking them into myself. Okay, first of all, obviously, double bomb these guys. There's no point using more than one bomb, even though I have 12.
We got the D12, which isn't a particularly good item for us, but it is good that it's an item. <clears throat> it's gone. Don't like these guys at all. That is a lot of shots to be spreading. Not a big fan of these guys either. God damn. Oh, dude, they're stressing me out, the ghosties. Okay, we're all good. I was hoping for the last guppy item there from that red chest. Sadly, could not be afforded that luxury. Right, let's keep it moving. We're doing good. Careful of that bomb guy. Okay, luckily he's dead already. Get somewhere where the bomb guy can't actually hit me. Makes things a lot easier. We got a double bomb door here as well for potentially a crawl space. I would take it if I could get it. Yeah, crawl space, nice. Nord Leaf. Nord Leaf does allow us to abuse things if we get certain items. Oh wait, we've got Spectral, what am I doing? I'm confused by this, I'll be honest. I'm confused by this deeply. How, how the fuck do I get in there? Was there meant to be something I was supposed to do to get in there? I don't care. Wait, does that ladder just lead me in there? One sec. Maybe it does. Okay, it does. Uh, do I want Nord Leaf? I'll, I'll take it just in case there's some way to abuse it. Like, I feel like if we get later on in the game, we've got a really good way to abuse it, then at least I have it. It feels like blasphemous to get rid of such a potentially OP method of uh, survival. This this wall looks very secret roomy to me. There you go. Of course we're taking the damage up one. Thank you. Not an awful lot of damage, but it's good. Lovely. Mirror. Oh, that's really good, actually. But unfortunately, perfection obviously is just too good for us. What's with all the bomb items? <laughs> I'm still going to re-roll those. Ghost bombs is nice, but doesn't quite cut it. This thing we will open. Yeah, that paid out, baby. That paid out real nice. Oh, I see. Oh, thank you, Hurstat, once again. Hurstat has been very generous recently. Face reward, rejection. Dude, this is a little sad. It's a little upsetting right now. Dude, I hate these enemies. God damn it. Stop being such bitches. Also, just, just so many active items. It's so frustrating. I don't fucking want an active on a character that has an active that's crucial to their kit. Still don't really know what this does. Every third shop item I buy is free, I think it is. That was a nice chain reaction there. Okay, that was pretty beautiful, I've got to say. Come on, Gupster, where are you at? Where are you at? Well, I guess we're left with Kane's eye, which is eh, it's actually not bad. And it's a familiar as well, which is good for the revival thing, I think. 
Need the Hermic shots. Left hand is also really, really good for trying to find Guppy, but my active, it's too good. What we really need is piercing. Piercing with my reflection and this cyst shot could be insane. Right, it's boss time. Good, good, you're dead. Hey, got him before he even raged. That's perfect. Um, It's pretty useful, I'll take that. The HP up obviously doesn't do anything for us, but the speed upgrade outside of combat's nice. I guess I'll take Rotten Baby. I was, I was just trying to reroll for Guppy there. Rotten Baby's pet. <laughs> it's like Baby Guppy. A pathetic version of Guppy. Don't touch that chest, because that insta- that, that chest literally insta-kills you if you touch it, so... Definitely stay the hell away from that bad boy. Nah, it's only 0.4 dam 0 .04 damage for touching those chests, I can't be asked. Okay, these bloody things are a pain. We got through it nicely. Good. Dude, we're getting so many red chests and no payouts. It's so annoying. I wonder if Rotten uh, Baby... Hmm. I wonder if Rotten Baby does insane damage if we don't fire with Cyst. That'd be interesting to see. Molding Clay. These are really goddamn good. Okay, I'm going to take Molding Clay for now. Then let's re-roll here and try and get something really heckin' good. First of all, I will take that. That's pretty useful. Dude, give us something good, please. That isn't an active item. Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. This is... This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't want an active item. Literally every single goddamn thing in that shop was an active item. Literally every goddamn thing that we re-rolled to. Literally everyone. It just... It's silly. Fanny pack. How goddamn useful. Uh, do we have a charge in our active right now? We do. It's pretty good, actually. Right, I'm just taking Mold and Clear right now because, like... There could end up being an item on this floor that's really worth duplicating in our item room. Dude, that was so bad. I didn't realize there were Brimstone boys. That was very close then. There you go. We can bomb these guys for extra consumables as well. Um, see, that's not really worth duplicating, is it? I don't think. It might just be worth keeping the Molding Clay anyways, to be honest. Rather than our re-rolling ability. I think it is, to be honest. It's such a good active. So many troll bombs. School bag allows us to take both. Okay, that solves some issues for us. Now we have Molding Clear and a reroll, which I think is pretty goddamn useful.
speed upgrade. Okay, let me quickly go back this way. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna bomb this to move it out of the middle of the room because I'm gonna end up walking into it and killing myself, and that would be super up upsetting. Right, give me that bad boy. Give me that one cent battery charge. Reroll the um the speed upgrade because we just don't need speed really. I want a damage up that I can duplicate. It's not a damage up I can duplicate at all. That's also Anarchist Cookbook. Oh, this 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 little enemy that we've picked up here. Don't care for him. He's very annoying. He's making some weird noises. I don't like it. He's very much in my way. Right, back we go again for another reroll. I just want something that's going to give us tears up or damage up. Something that's going to up our DPS. Because then I can duplicate it. It's going to disappear now though, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. I guess we'll just take this then. Fuck it. Wasn't expecting two of these bad boys, i got to say. Brownie. Oh, Brownie's. I just want to say, Brownie's fucking dead. <laughs> Holy shit. Brownie had no chance. Right, we'll keep our uh, charge rather than reroll an anarchist cookbook. Just so we've got a charge for Devil Deal if we get it. Mum's the first big challenge here, I think. Mum always kills me as the loss. Well, not always, but a lot of the time she does. The, the, the initial extra damage boost that we get from, uh, what's it called there? Um, from the cyst was really, really nice. Quite the assist. Um, we will take this. And we will be going. Cool. I can't believe we got to keep both the molding clear and the uh, reroll. That's so nice. A lot of moolah. Yeah, speed is now topping out all the time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Take all the keys, the main thing I want out of all that. Just getting that insta-kill. I've not really had seen the necrotic shots do much yet, but hey her, we'll get to that. Well, that's an insta-kill on one of you. That's an insta-kill on you as well. Lovely. I've got to go cash room just in case Guppy's available. Hate these enemies with a burning passion. Ooh. Unfortunately, we can't really do much with these, even if, even if they're great, because we need uh, perfection. Sadly, not what we're looking for. Lovely. Dude, I love having this this key item. I can't remember what it's called. My mum's key where it just like every single chest just is full of crazy shitloads of stuff. Yes. I say, look at them. Chests are just fucking rammed. Got hit by something there. I'll be honest, I don't really know what. Now this guy is an annoying boss. Luckily we've got the mod that makes it so we can see where he's going to slam his feet down, which helps. Doesn't make it easy though. Torn for... Uh... Thank you. Finally, some significant tears up. That's a huge DPS increase for us. Like, actually huge. Nice. Keep this moving along. 
But that's the first room with one of those we've had in ages, actually. I kind of forgot we had that item, I'll be honest. Also, why are we able to see? Okay, are they glass chests? I was like, why are we able to see into those chests? So we don't have guppies out, but they're glass chests. You can always see into them, you fool. That's the whole point of them. That is probably duplicatable. Okay, these fucking stupid poops. Stop fearing me. Getting on my goddamn nerves. Hey, we got Leviathan out of that too. I don't think Leviathan does anything for the lost, but it's nice. Um, most chests work like eternal chests. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I will activate that effect. Do I need to do that in a specific order? I don't think I did, did I? Wait. No. Okay. That's pretty cool, because we're getting a lot of chests right now. Um, and if they work like eternal chests and can give items, then that's pretty incredible. That didn't work like an eternal chest. I could go and explore the floor and get more out of that, but... I think I just want to do the boss. Okay, this is our first big challenge here, because this boss, this new version of this boss, fucks me up on the regular. See, we, got, we already got hit there. Luckily, we were able to kill it quickly. That was a little scary. Um... I'm going to re-roll. Yeah, Minos is pretty good. Not really what I was hoping for, but still. Right, up we go. We're doing reasonably well here. I think we're, we've got a half-decent run locked in. Remember as well, we've still got a revive. So even if things go really wrong, we still have a revive to work with. Good. It's our first not so nice room. I literally have no idea what's going on right now. I'm just hoping for the best. Right, nope. Definitely don't want that. Get out of here. Eternal Heart doesn't do much for us, I don't think. Alright. Good, 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 good. Oh, dude. I fucking hate going the wrong way on the cathedral. Stop with this nonsense. Like, that was such a long detour to go the wrong way. Minos doing a decent job of killing stuff. Hey, finally. Didn't get anything for any of them, though. Okay. Dude, still the wrong way? How? Come on, game. Be reasonable. Dude, so many herming fuckers that I can't even bloody well hit. It finally went the right way. Oh god, I hate this. As far as rooms go, this is not a pleasant one. Obsessed fan. Yeah, why not? Right, Isaac. Another one of our big challenges. Shouldn't be too bad. He's not normally that big of an issue, especially with this damage. 
Oh, for God's sake, I got hit instantly. Okay, so now we're in trouble. I say in trouble, it's not like trouble trouble, but there is a chance I get hit by one of the light beams here because I'm a bit of an idiot. Okay, we're good. We're good. Down we go. Isaac's heart's been unlocked, hell yeah. To be fair, I actually quite like Isaac's heart, so... <laughs> Honestly, of all of these, I'm really not that interested in any of them. I'll be honest. Um, I'll take a doubled axolotl. Why, why, why not? And then the rest of them... The rest of them I'm gonna reroll. Well, the bag of seeds thing is good, but it's crashed my game before. Really? The birds disappeared. We've got quince. Ten times bombs. Love it. Thank you. No thank you. Bob's brain. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a little much. Yeah, thank you for just deleting Bob's brain out of existence. I think that was necessary. I think that was very needed by all. Okay, these little shits. Be careful. Ghost baby, why not? Okay, we're doing pretty good here. It's all flowing pretty smoothly. Oh, God. That damn glitched boss. He's not always glitched, by the way, but he seems to be glitched a lot of the time for me, and I can't be asked dealing with him. What was what's happening with all the items being absolutely garbage to start with? It's a horrendous room. Bumbo's decent, but he's not going to get leveled up there. Or at least fully. Aw, oh, dude. Little jumpy fucker here trying to escape by jumping. Three annoying bosses. Dude, every item is just, like, not good. I like the way that when he dies, the feet still come down for some stupid reason. <laughs> right, boss time. Don't know how we're going to fare against Blue Baby here, because for one, he does have decent boss armor, so the fight is not a short one anyways. Good thing, as you just saw, is that he does have, um... He does have little flies that he creates on occasion, which means that we do have some Athame procs going on. Not a lot, but some. Yeah, Athame was doing a good job there. One to the good. This is the hardest phase by far. I mean, it's meant to be. It's the last phase, but there's some attacks this guy does that are really confusing. Like this one. Yeah, we got him. Okay. Nice win. We've kept our win streak alive. We got a good win as the lost. We unlocked the body. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.